A 30-year struggle for a swimming pool in one of Australia's most remote desert communities is over. It's a victory for the people of Yuendamu who say they don't need the Northern Territory intervention to improve their lives. It's been a long, hot wait for a swim in Central Australia's largest Aboriginal community. The kids don't have to get into a trouble, so we'll just hope in the pool they'll just have a good time and they'll um, go to school every day if they want to come to the swimming pool. The new pool at Yundamu cost nearly two and a half million dollars and was jointly funded by the community and both governments. For the young lifeguards here, it's also been a long journey. Their training hit a snag when they were evicted from an Alice Springs backpacker hostel in March because they were Aboriginal. Instead, they trained in Sydney. That was old days and I don't want to go back to that thing. And I just want to be happy and see, my, see these children happy with their new swimming pool. It's only a few years ago that Yuan Demu was in the grip of petrol sniffing, but thanks to the opal rollout and community programs like the one that make this pool a reality, these children may never know that experience. It's a message the community was able to give directly to a Senate petrol sniffing inquiry visiting Yuan Demu today. It's hoped an agreement signed between the Central Land Council, Newmont Mining and Government will create more jobs in the region. I think this pool today and the regional partnership agreement shows that there's a lot of strength in this community. While it was all smiles around the pool, the minister's visit did make waves. Jenny Macklin was given a petition signed by more than 200 residents who want the intervention stopped immediately. I know they're doing the right thing in their heart. The way they go, do about it. It's the wrong way. The intervention will continue in its current form for the next 12 months. Kirsty Nancaro, ABC News, Yundamu.